Let's talk about James Harden, Scotty, because he logged the second most minutes in the league last season while posting the highest usage rate. Team officials, though, are reportedly forming plans to ease Harden's burden. Rockets general manager Daryl Morey telling Bleacher Report, quote, I do think being intelligent about how we manage him through the season and even the playoffs makes sense. I think you'll see more than in the past. I don't know exactly how it's going to look, though. So, Scotty, should the Rockets load manage hard in this season, have him not play as many games or as many minutes? Well, I mean, based on his postseason performance, um, I haven't seen him be able to go to the next gear. And I think holding back a little bit, taking some minutes away from him, will allow him to re-energize himself come playoff time. You know, a lot of guys get up, get hyped, and James Harden is a great player. I'm not taking anything away from his competitiveness, but I haven't seen him have that second gear when it comes to playoff because he pretty much wore himself down throughout the regular season, night in and night out, playing the style of basketball that he plays. The catch-22 here is the best laid plans usually go awry. And last year, had they had the same mentality, they wouldn't may not even made the playoffs because they needed Harden to really get them to that place because Chris Paul dealt with injuries throughout the year. And so it wasn't just Chris Paul. Like right, half the it, team was yeah, injured and, and at others, one point. Like, and yes, James like definitely left it down. Foundational piece in, yep. in Chris Paul. And he's also 30 years old in the absolute prime of his career. And we're going to talk about limiting him. Like you get one NBA career. Well, you're going to limit MB, who's young. <laughs> younger. Different body. Different, oh. body. different, body. different well, body. Well, Scotty, this, this, so let's, get, let's hone in on a little nuance here, right? So part of it is how many games do you play, how many minutes you play. But one thing, again, you talked about through the playoffs last year is how you play when you're on the court, right? Yeah. And just even when you're talking about MB just now. So James expends a tremendous amount of energy with each possession, right? Dribble, dribble, and sort of how he's positioning himself. Is there wiggle room for him to do play the minutes, do play the games, but maybe change a little bit of just how much energy he's expending through. I, I think there's plenty of room, and I, I think that's why a guy like a guy like Westbrook is going to come in and help him because he's going to take that pressure off of him of bringing the ball up every time and having to score. Now Harden can trot down the sideline or do whatever he can, rest, but still be able to come off single doubles and be effective, but also be able to catch the ball now in more of a working position. Mm -hmm. He's been starting 35 feet from up on the top. Not to say you're taking that away from him, mm -hmm. but I think Russell Westbrook will allow allow him to reserve his energy a little bit more on the offensive end. And also, we haven't seen James Harden on the block yet. So I, I think that's another area where he can find some rest. Well, I mean, that's the big question with the Rockets, right? Is James comfortable with Russ being more of the ball handler in that situation? Because James is obviously the better shooter, right? So you want Harden to take, I mean, you want Westbrook to take more of what you're talking about so that he can get James, catch James in that working position and then boom, the ball goes in the net. So. Yeah, I, I, I think they're, they're both going to be effective. I think Westbrook is going to give them again that thrust that they yes. need early in transition. He got guys like Cabello, who's a rim runner, yep. and those guys can get easy basket. But when it comes to a half court situation, there's no one better than James Harden will come off a single double or just give him the ball at the top. He's going to create some kind of confusion. Yeah. And, and that balance is going to be key. You get you get Westbrook in transition, Harden half court. They both feed off one another the best. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.